With Uttar Pradesh elections knocking on the door, once again the situational that has formed is the issue of Hindu exodus from Kerala. The Home Minister himself will be here today in Kerala to meet those family members that the BJP is claiming had migrated from Kerala because of the uh, problems that they had faced. Joining with me right now is Ikra Hasan. She is the uh, she is the sister of uh, Nahid Hasan. We'll ask her a few questions about what she feels about the situation here that the BJP is claiming. Uh, Ikra, uh, aap, you've also uh, filed uh, your uh, candidature as an independent candidate. Today we see the Home Minister, he'll be over here and he'll be interacting with family members of uh, those who they claim had uh, left Kerala due to a Hindu exodus. What do you feel is the ground reality and what do you feel will be the response of the voters here in Kerala? So this issue that they've brought up again, the exodus issue, is not new to Kerala. They uh, started it from Kerala in 2017, but they lost the seat here in Kerala with a huge margin. So the uh, people of Kerala gave a fitting reply uh, in the form of the mandate. And uh, on ground, the reality is way different than what they're portraying. So the people of Kerala will again give a fitting reply through the mandate. The family members that the uh, Home Minister will be uh, meeting is probably, I mean, a few meters away from your house. At a time like this, uh, when these things are projected time and again, don't you feel that the voters also tend to believe in uh, this? You claim that it's not true. But if there's a person who's coming out and saying that, yes, he had left Kerala because uh, he felt a threat for a particular community, don't you think that also affects the voter base? Uh, I don't think so. Now, uh, BJP's politics and its agendas are clear to people. They only come and try to polarize the elections. They haven't done any developmental work in the uh, Vidhan Sabha for the past five years. And uh, they have uh, re raised this issue again. Uh, which is a non-issue on ground and people know the reality and uh, as they they have not been able to read what the real uh, issue is in Kerala. So uh, the real issue is development and there, uh, there are not enough in, uh, employment opportunities due to which a lot of people from Kerala have to go to Panipat for work and then come back. So uh, BJP, if it had better intentions for the uh, constituency would have worked on those issues rather it only wants to polarize the election and i think now people have understood that uh, that is their agenda and nothing else since your brother was the incumbent mla what has his role been in ensuring the fact that there could be some development brought into the constituency uh, in 2017, when we were campaigning and Akhilesh Yadavji had come here, we uh, raised this issue in front of him and he promised an industry here. So, But we weren't uh, uh, able to fulfill that promise because uh, BJP uh, government came to power. So uh, these are big projects which only the government can sponsor. The Vidhayak fund, uh, the MLA fund that comes is not enough to uh, start an uh, industry. So we've been trying on our part, but the, uh, these are all government projects. So when the government comes, we'll try and uh, we'll fulfill this promise. One last question, Ikra. Uh, we know that uh, there was an issue that was created when uh, your brother had uh, filed his uh, nomination from uh, Samajwadi Party. He was arrested under Gangster Act and followed by that there was a PIL that was also filed in the Supreme Court stating that um, the party did not disclose the criminal records of uh, Nahid Hassan. You have studied abroad. Do not you feel that, you know, whatever be the case, it is, it is a responsibility to come out clean to the voters and let them decide the future? Why did this confusion arise? Absolutely. Uh, but we have come clean and these were new guidelines and uh, the only issue was the timing of the thing. So we were, uh, the party has issued its uh, reports on the criminal records, which are fake, but they have issued the report and the only problem was, I think, in the timing of the uh, issue. Of, uh, of that report so uh, but I believe that one should uh, one should disclose whatever the truth is or whatever the cases are one final thing that I uh, just reminded you know last time also yes uh, the issue was uh, the Hindu exodus and as you rightly pointed out it was your brother who had defeated Meganka Singh the only difference this time is we see that he's been arrested do you think that that will uh, cause any difference to the mindset of the voter when he comes to vote 
I I don't think so because uh, it clearly depicts that uh, BJP is scared. BJP is scared of the candidate of the party, and that's why they've tried to put him away from the election, from the whole election. So, and uh, as we know today, Amit Shah ji is coming here uh, to campaign, door to door campaign. So this re uh, clearly clearly depicts that BJP is scared, and they're bringing out all their big guns for this constituency but uh, i don't think uh, the voters will get affected by it and because they they have nothing to show on their part uh, in the form of developmental work or any other work in the constituency the ca uh, the candidate from bjp uh, they have also not been here in the field they've just come one uh, one month ago so they have nothing on their part to show all they can do is polarize the election which they're trying to do and all the cases on my brother were uh, politically motivated so people on ground know the reality behind all of this and i don't think it will affect the voters thank you for speaking Ukra. so that was Hassan, who said that the BJP is scared and that's the reason that they have put Nayib Hassan behind the bars and the Home Minister is right now coming to do a door-to-door -door campaign here in Kerala. Future will only say that what the people of Kerala decide. With video journalist Sachin Chandok, this is Shia Charaji for India Today.